Oh, that's fresh. Oh no! I need a paradigm shift. And if you're watching this video, maybe you do too. A paradigm is like a worldview, a cohesive set of understanding how things work or how things are. A paradigm shift is a revolutionary or radical change in that understanding or worldview. Ah, oh, it's been a pretty first good day at camp. What? What happened? Just threw the stick over me. Not this stick. You throwing stuff, bud? Yeah, we're looking good. Got our set stuff set up. Oh man, that light is fantastic. We could do that light all day long. Aloha! Top of the morning, friends and family. Noah and I are about to head out on our very first official backpacking trip. First things first, gotta go over our checklist. Make sure we got everything. What do you mean official? Official? We've, this we've is official. On, we've gone on one before. We've gone renegade before. This is yeah. official. Sleeping bag. Check. Sleep sack. Having an debate. Hillary really wants me to take a photo of us on the trail, which I could do, but I, which, when I take a video, it's 24 photos a second. And so we're having a debate about whether or not I need to actually take a specific photo versus we need to get off here. No? Spring Street? No. Stop I can't. You're too cute. I'm, start, I'm starting to feel like you just want me to submit to you. No, of, I just so, want you to do me a favor. I'm going to do you 24 favors a second I every time I film video. <laughs> I found. Can I be mommy's? Really I'm going to get you thousands and thousands this and thousands of pictures, okay? I, I promise. This is the point where I just recommend you shushing. <laughs> Mom, guess what I found? What's the rule? Uh, no jumping off cliffs. Safety first. I want to see what else I got in my other hand. You need help getting it on? Um, you should latch it. Get used to latching it. Take, you don't want to be putting any weight on your shoulders that you don't need to. The day is almost done. Hey, I've got a hat. <laughs> we'll be great and we'll be fine. And we're going to have lots of fun. Okay. It's going to be one of the best memories we ever form. Love you too, mommy. Wait, right here. This is where we catch it. Bye, T. Bye. Love you, T. Mwah. All right, bud, you excited? Yeah. All right. Surprise. It's the surprise. We got us our own personal room on the train, oh, yeah. yeah. You can turn this whole section into a bed here. And then we, we got a bed upstairs too. And this room comes with dinner. Alright. Yeah, just a quick quick few minutes to San Jose and then we are uh, a few minutes, a few hours. A few hours to San Jose. And then we will be at my folks house for the night and then we head on our backing pack backing packing tripping yes mm. Ooh, look how nice it is out there uh... that doesn't look nice oh that's probably what those cars cops are going for which are not and not everyone has this same thing personal room no definitely not good trip so far It's exciting, and I really don't want to vomit on my first train ride. <laughs> Doors aren't sound soundproof. All right. Is this the train to Sacramento? 
<laughs> yes, yeah, it's straight back. Oh, okay. Good thinking. You brought your own seat. Good. <laughs> we almost forgot it. All right. Yeah. Wow, what a chest. <laughs> nice chest. Thanks, thanks. Okay, no. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Ow. It's painful. Hi, son. Hi, sonny boy. Look at you. Wow. <laughs> I think somebody had a bad train ride. Bye! Blessing song. <laughs> Heading know. out on the trail. <laughs> Hopefully we do not fail. I'm sure we're gonna smell by the end. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that that. Yeah. I think your prediction is gonna come true. <laughs> yeah, we got about six miles camp, and it's Noah's first official big one. Doing it. You ready, bud? Uh-huh. My pound's about 45 packs. 45 packs. 45 pounds. Carrying some of Noah's food for him so he doesn't have to struggle too hard. Don't want him to get discouraged on his first trip out. He'll be good. He'll be good. About a quarter of the way there. The last time I went on a backpacking trip with my dad, I was up all night, drugged out stupor, <laughs> tried to come in the next day, and just was dead, like literally dying on the trail. So I'm sure this is better for him than, than that time. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> we started the hike with a 40 minute nap on the picnic table at the trailhead and proceeded to take multiple naps on the way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this time I had three uh, three mile run this morning to warm myself up for this. So <laughs> we're doing a lot better. Noah, how you feeling? We're a quarter mile away there, buddy. You think you're gonna make it? Yeah. Yeah. I was recording while I was adjusting, I didn't know it. <laughs> well, we're halfway there, and Noah was apologizing for saying that we would have been there faster if he wasn't stopping and taking breaks. And I was like, dude, you're nine. You're doing a great job. This is your first hike. We're doing great. You're doing fantastic. We're making decent time. We're halfway there. Next third of the trip is the steepest, but uh, it's gonna be good. We're gonna get it. It's gonna happen. About a mile away from camp. Noah's champing it. Dad's champing it. We're gonna make it, I think. Mm, well, we're definitely not turning back now. Say exactly what you just said. I said, uh, I've had a 60 year head start on Noah almost, and that's the first time I've seen the Farallons from here. We've both seen them at the same time, and I got a 60 year head start on him. That is so cool. Usually they're in the fog bank and uh, you don't see them. I mean, it's still cool you're on the beach, but the fog is so far out today. This is amazing. This is the best I've ever seen this beach. It's just incredible. 
and actually be able to see the Farallons. I mean, yeah, this <laughs> is cool. <laughs> this is definitely one of the best trips so far. <laughs> well, we made it to camp, we're here. This is our camp. We are going to now go get water because we don't have any. <laughs> first things first, I'm taking these hiking boots off until we hike out of here. Oh yeah, beautiful day to go get some water. Tell you what, that's my kind of California right there, boy. All right. We got some bags, water bags, water filters, and we're gonna filter up some water and we'll be good to go for camp. Oh! Ah. Oh, that's fresh. Oh no! Start over. Oh, There's something about being sandwiched between the ocean and mountainous forest that can make you feel insignificant. Not insignificant in a bad way, insignificant in a way that makes you feel as free as a bird. Please allow me to explain. As I bask in the glorious beauty that stands before me, I realize that all of this has been here long before me and will likely remain long after I've left this world. So maybe today it's not important that I check my email, reply to Instagram messages, or even connect with the world outside my immediate presence at all. Maybe today, the only thing I need to do is make sure we have water and a little food to get us up the next mountain. Maybe today, I need only to be with my son and my dad. Noah said something today. He said, we just need to make sure we go slow enough and take time to enjoy all this beauty. I think we all lose sight of that maybe more often than we would care to admit. When I heard him say that, I knew this little trip was just the paradigm shift I needed. It warms my soul to know that Noah will likely pass this tradition of paradigm shifting down to his kids. It's so important. Too often, I get so caught up in the world that people have made that I forget to exist in the world that God has made. A trip like this is a radical perspective change, a reset button for my worldview. If you, you watching this video, if you are feeling what I'm saying, go do it. Shift the paradigm you're existing in currently. Do it for yourself. Do it for your loved ones. Do it for the love of God. What was that? <laughs> Yeah, I think we could certainly do worse than this. <laughs> Man, what a spot. What do yeah. you think what do you think, Noah? I think it's good. Think it's good? Yeah, but do you think that the waterfall is blocked off from right here by now? Uh no, it doesn't look like the tide's up that high. Later tonight it might be. When we were here a couple of weeks ago, the high tide came all the way up. All along this beach, it was all soaked, it was all wet. Pretty dang hot. Oh man, I don't know. This this light, oh, this light is. Just, oh my goodness, it's just so nice. <laughs> I. I kind of want to film always at this time and only at this time. Look at how great this is. Every video would just be amazing. Look at that. Fantastic. <laughs>